Most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring, can you hear me sing? La 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 la, dee 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 dee. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm uh, satisfied for now, thanks. <laughs> At least. He's rhyming, I suppose. <laughs> Sean and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library. Where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I promptly picked the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep, hold on, let's just take a moment to look at the map and kind of. So. I have it in my inventory. Yeah, but let's just take a moment to just uh, kind of wrap our minds around this. So the story, this, this is where it happened. Yeah, let's not confuse the the, the casino room with uh, the saloon yeah, and the arcade. Yeah, so SPO and uh, SPO is at the no Shadow and and uh, wait Knuckles and Vector, Vector were playing. Right. Playing arcade. Well, Espio was at the book, and the girls were doing their stuff. Well, um. And so, after they played arcade, Knuckles and Vector, they closed the door for Espio. Wanted the door closed behind him when he went in there. No, right? Shadow. Oh, Shadow. He wanted the door closed behind and also him. Rouge was there eventually. That's oh, true. No. It was her lipstick on the glass. And that's what we know. Is there anything else I'm forgetting about the story? No. As they're telling you? No. Alright, let's continue reading here. Yep! Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Okay, so now she's where Espio is. Right. Mm. Then she went to search the saloon car. And now she's where Vector, Luck, and Luckles were. Yeah, they're showing how they moved around yeah. as they're telling the story, right. That's helpful. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. Yeah. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind them. More importantly, why was Shadow being locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. 
I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. I wonder why he's... Yeah, what I said in the game is pretty true. I wonder why Shadow was locking doors. It's kind of suspicious. Yeah. Walking around locking the doors behind him. Yeah. It's very suspicious. Hmm. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us some someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's how that happened. With all these locked doors, it seems a vector or SPO couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Yeah. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just gonna peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys! Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the li library car. car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. So, we need to confirm, you know, find clues that prove that what you're saying is true, that yeah. they actually were closed in there. Yeah. Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants, Oh! Sean, look at this! There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, genre which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave to look? There's stalactites. Nah, leave it. Oh wow. yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. A lot of these were knocked out by the train speeding up. But Rouge pulled a lot of these out too, searching for something. What reckless behavior! I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. The 
this kid feels empathy for everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tails has a soft heart for everything. Yeah. Huh? Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all oh, this, this mess. mess either. Let's just leave it alone. To it do its thing. Safe. Yeah, probably for the best. Chaos Cola. Chaos Cola. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much the islands. Are fun and all. But I'd love to visit some of the countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Well, sounds perfect for a vacation. vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia. If you've ever been there, I have actually. If, you've, if you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone and has been everywhere. everywhere. Have Haven't it. Precariously from, from a tree branch, branch. the large text, text below reads hanging there. Wow, I really needed to see this. <laughs> hmm? This little chow is hanging there, refusing to use its wings to fly to safety because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way. There was that happen. much thought put into this poster. Right? I wanna leave. Don't forget also you can look around the room. Wow! I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. All right, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's stabbing through all the books. Titles excitedly. Candy shop, or in this case, a genius, genius. in a tray library. Yeah. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order. But this one. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Mirage Express manual is added to your inventory. I hate to say it, but 
there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something. Sean, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, no, no I'm alright. I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. <laughs> you really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay. These trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Sean, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. What is that supposed to be? A compliment? Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. There's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make a note of it? Oh, that was your reading. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I do believe we should. Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and SPO to find out what really happened. Do you have any idea which which of the clues we found is connected to them staying there? Maybe the manual for the train. Maybe they yeah. pulled it out. And... Fancy a poem? Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. The window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. Oh thanks. I actually really like that one. <laughs> so the two of you don't believe us, eh? Not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Sean and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library card. Vector will start with why did Library card to visit Knuckles. We're prepared to present, present evidence. Yes. If need. Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Mm. What? I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instruct instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine in the saloon car, so figured I'd go check it out. This seems to line up with the information that we could not lose. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course you was! Hmm? Once SPO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must have been a good read. What was the book? Espio doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, 
I have a hunch on what that hook might be. Sean, can you help me out? Alright, John, what book do you think that your man has been reading? A manual? You think SPO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Oh, because the machine was broke, so maybe SPO wanted to help. John, let's try again. You were both grasping. I knew it. Got this, John. Let's try again. scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except this manual, meaning someone, at the very least, picked the manual up and put it back in the incorrect place. Hmm. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, SBO. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Apologies, SBO. The butcher. Butcher and the boat. Friendship. Or anywhere. That is indeed the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Sean, if you don't mind... Could you ask SPO some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz SPO. About the manual. Which page should I quiz him on? Probably better with an early page, don't you think? Yeah. It's not sure that he read all the way to 362. Yeah. Maybe 57? Maybe. Um, okay. What effect? What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I remember the concept of the train. Clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. Any their robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like SBO aced that question. Sean, hit him with another one. Uh, okay, which page do I choose? Oh, now it's the 
What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Last one, Sean. Let's see if SPO can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to assure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train has autopilot. Autopilot. But it can't access its full stream of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Just goofing, you passed. I've completed your test with ease. All my efforts were only to please. But you joked and jape, said no to my face. Now I wish you were riddled with fleas. You've clearly read the manual. Those answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both have the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred to sound a bit suspicious, even if it's true. Probably. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me meeting after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the map. Manual, so I suppose we got. SPO, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Sean? always puts me on the spot. Okay, Sean, think. We should have a piece of evidence. Link. Linked to someone. We also saw SPL reading once. Shadow! Shadow! We had a lot. Shadow's luck? Please, pray tell, what this has to do with anything? We're up, Sean. Let's get our argument together. Time wasted. 
Let's give this another go, Sean. saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score long. Crocs are natural gamers. Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. Hmm? We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Ah, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I... you see... I can sense Espio's... Desperation. Defeating... Defending the argument... That he was really... The entire time. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors... Then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? How would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors. No one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Sean. One that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cold demeanor. I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car. Honest! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah! I think I remember doing that! I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. There for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library card? I wasn't. I didn't. Why doesn't. This seems right to me. Tails definitely feels like he's on something, but I don't see what Was Espio simply. Not notice to the library card. What should I do? So, what do you really feel and think? Are you? He has to! Like, that's everybody's, like, I guess everybody's. So, yeah, so you. I can't interrupt tail while he's on to something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... Uh, 
<coughs> Sean, my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails. Hmm? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all All right, my fellow associates, lay it on me. What piece of evidence shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? An overhead. Okay, so this is enough for the library. Maybe the library kind of shows how. Uh, they can, how you couldn't move without being noticed. Maybe the map shows like it's impossible yeah. to not. Alright, now let's get my thoughts in order. It's tough to argue with the smartest person in the Sonic <laughs> Let me give it another... Oh. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exit. They are right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walk down this straight path, there's a way that Spio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll we'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could SPO have been for Shadow to not see him? Interesting. That's where I was sitting reading my book. I'm so genius because he was like in a corner. Mm -hmm. the child just went through a straight pass. Genius! Yeah, yeah, that was perfect. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, SPO was in the same spot. That confirms it then. You see, Shadow and SPO couldn't have seen one another from this spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. No way Shadow could have seen SPO or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, SPO. There's just no way you could would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. But I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. Well, we did it another pair of 
spice. Validated. Too many locked doors to worry about. But I'm glad everything is straightened and self out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the exit to the next, next car is open. Amy must. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. Then that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and SPO. Give him heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word. I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick, tuck goes the clock while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. You really do this. Come on, Sean. Let's see what's next. I always like him when he's like this. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Coming. I just want to see the map. So we are currently here. Yeah. Then we're gonna go where the girls are. And if we go there, then we can finally meet Shadow. Yeah, that's true. And this is where the captain is, but it doesn't show Sonic. No, oh, because oh yeah, he's... because Sonic is there. Too. Yeah. So the captain is here. Yeah. And we do want to talk with Rouge on the way. But no one has said anything about, about the place. Right. So, I'm coming, Tails. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? But you just said we gotta go. Just one more look around. The mystery calls. You can never spend too much time in a library. Checking for sure that we got everything, huh? Yeah. You sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? But you just looked at one. Okay! This is my favorite. Okay, the investigation continues. All this stuff is getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. legacy. Tells is right. Folks, we have brought you up. Tells is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him, Rouge, we're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. The treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. 
since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. what it is, Rouge. Alright, well, it's a Fabergé Chow Egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday presents already, so everything is well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in the safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library car with a safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé Chow Egg. Are you kidding me? I'm just looking like the most cutest thing in the world! <laughs> the security guard. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the fur bridge challenge? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Sean, do you have an opinion on this? Stealing is for squares, or it's time for a five finger discount. I think the only one square here is you, Microwave Master. <laughs> I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. No, my cool and mysterious reputation is crumbling. Alright, alright, I'm in. I'll help. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Sean are in. Okay, let's get that Pepper J. Chow Egg. <laughs> That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now, we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Access to the Fabergé Chow Egg Room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... This looks so cute. This is Tails. This is Blaze. This is Blue. This is me. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
was here, I was scheming on how to get the, uh, past the guard, right? And get his guard. Attack the ground. No, the guard. The guard. Drive the guard. Or distract the guard. Distract the guard. Distract the Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Sean, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. That's on go. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Probably should be a beautiful girl, no? To distract. So a princess? Yeah, probably yeah. yeah. Think you could distract the guard ways? In my life I've never let a single person down. I won't talk. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Excellent! People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. Perfect! I think we can move on then. When the guard distracted Rouge, how will you get the access card? The other one I have to. The raptors? Ask for the card? Or take their pocket? I'll snatch the axe key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge! Try not to take anything else from them, if you can help it. No promises! <laughs> She'll steal more if she can. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Sean, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Push the security guard over. The Zen Pretend? Blaze. Blaze's spouse. His husband's wife. I don't think we should do anything violent, because all the other tricks we're doing are not violent, so we don't suddenly need to push them. Pretending he, that you're... Yeah, if, don't pick anything yet, let's just talk this through. If you, so let's not do anything violent. Yeah. I don't think. That, yeah. Because everything else we're doing smooth, cool, like, you know, cool criminal. Yeah. We don't need to suddenly go violent. And we're not the murderer. So there's no reason for us to do that. Say there's a drink without a coaster, he needs to go fix that. Right? Maybe that's the thing. Yeah. Absolutely vile! I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable! I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. A drink without a coaster. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll go to the elevator. And just like that, we'll, we'll all make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Celebratory dance? Pop some apple cider? Or sing victory a cappella? So either we dance a celebration, drink some drinks, or sing a song. 
Now that's a proper victory! <laughs> Tails is just fine and dancing. I'm just dancing. I <laughs> hands up in the air, yeah. and the girls are doing that. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no! One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five, five each of them. Have Tails disable them, tie them onto one big knot. I think the last two, because Tails is good to, to attack, right? Yeah, but where is... yeah. I should be able to disengage them, obviously in some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no! Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip. Oh no, Tails is taking a while, and the arms are tightening their grip. Oh, okay. So you can cry and hope they sympathize. You can imagine you're not in pain. <laughs> and you can pretend there's nothing wrong. Um imagine that you're not in pain. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. <laughs> 